Welcome to the Buddhism Guide podcast. I'm Yeshi Rabge, and this episode is called Bouncing Back, The Art of Resilience and Renewal. This podcast is free and independent due to members' support, and thank you to everyone who supports the show. If you're interested in supporting my work, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Buddhism Guide. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please visit yeshirabge.com. In this episode, we'll be talking about how we can bounce back from loss, from illness, divorce, and challenging relationships and challenging work. So let's begin. Life is full of ups and downs, and it's often not the challenges we face that define us, but how we respond to them. Bouncing back from setbacks, whether they're personal, professional or health-related, is a skill that we can develop and hone ourselves. In this podcast, we will explore the concept of bouncing back and discuss strategies for resilience in the face of divorce, sickness, life-threatening illness and challenges in both personal and business life. Additionally, we'll delve into the Buddhist perspective on bouncing back, offering insights from an ancient tradition that has long focused on resilience and renewal. Bouncing back after divorce. Divorce is a significant life event that can be emotionally taxing and challenging to navigate. However, it is possible to overcome the difficulties and create a fulfilling life post-divorce. The journey to discovery often involves a combination of emotional processing, self-care and seeking support from others. One of the most important aspects of bouncing back after divorce is building a strong support network, connecting with friends, family or joining support groups can help provide a sense of belonging, understanding and empathy. Having people to turn to for emotional support, advice and companionship can be invaluable during this time of transition. It's essential to surround oneself with individuals who offer positivity, encouragement and non-judgmental ear for us to lean on. Engaging in self-care activities is also crucial for rebuilding self-esteem and emotional well-being after divorce. Exercise, such as yoga, running or group fitness classes, can help release endorphins, reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Physical activity not only contributes to better health, but also provides a healthy outlet for managing emotions. Additionally, practicing mindfulness through meditation, deep breathing exercises or mindfulness-based stress reduction techniques can help individuals stay grounded and cultivate inner peace during this challenging period. Pursuing hobbies and activities that bring joy and, whether it's painting, gardening or learning a new skill, can also contribute to a sense of purpose and enjoyment in life. The Buddhist teachings on compassion and forgiveness can offer valuable insights for individuals going through divorce. Practicing self-compassion and extending compassion to one's ex-partner can aid in the healing process. Additionally, embracing the concept of impermanence and non-attachment can help individuals navigate the changing landscape of their lives with greater ease and resilience. Bouncing back after loss. Loss is an inevitable part of the human experience and the journey of grieving and healing that follows can be incredibly challenging. However, it's important to recognise that It's possible to bounce back from loss and find renewed purpose and meaning in life. Everyone's experience with loss is unique. 
There are several key strategies that can help individuals navigate the process of healing and recovery. One of the most crucial steps in bouncing back after loss is allowing oneself to grieve and process the complex emotions that accompany it. It's essential to give oneself permission to feel the full spectrum of emotions, including sadness, anger and hurt. By acknowledging and accepting these feelings, individuals can begin to work through them in a healthy and constructive manner. Seeking support from friends, family members or mental health professionals can provide invaluable assistance during this challenging time, offering a safe space for expression and understanding. Engaging in activities that bring comfort and solace can also play a significant role in the healing process. Spending time in nature, whether it's taking a quiet walk in the woods or sitting by the ocean, can provide a sense of peace and connection to something larger than oneself. Additionally, practicing mindfulness through activities like meditation or practicing yoga can help individuals cultivate a sense of inner calm and resilience. Creative outlets such as art, music or writing can serve as powerful forms of self-expression, enabling individuals to process their emotions and find new meaning in their experiences. From a Buddhist perspective, loss is viewed as an inherent aspect of life and the practice of impermanence teaches that all things are transient. Embracing this philosophy can provide solace and a framework for understanding loss as a natural part of the human experience. The Buddhist concept of non-attachment can also be beneficial as it encourages individuals to let go of expectations and attachments, fostering resilience in the face of change and loss. Bouncing back after sickness and life-threatening illnesses. Facing sickness or a life-threatening illness is undoubtedly one of the most formidable challenges a person can encounter. Bouncing back from such an experience often necessitates a comprehensive and holistic approach that addresses not only the physical aspects of the illness, but also emotional and spiritual well-being of the individual. While seeking medical treatment and adhering to healthcare providers' recommendations are vital, it's equally important to cultivate a positive mindset and engage in activities that bring joy and meaning to life as part of the healing process. When confronted with a serious illness, it's crucial for individuals to prioritise the physical health by seeking appropriate medical care and following the treatment plans recommended by the healthcare professional. This may involve undergoing medical procedures, taking prescribed medications, and participating in rehabilitation therapies to address the physical manifestations of the illness. Additionally, maintaining a healthy lifestyle through proper nutrition, regular exercise, and adequate rest can help support the body's natural healing process. In conjunction with physical care, tending to emotional well-being is essential in the journey towards recovery. Individuals facing illness may experience a range of emotions, including fear, anxiety or sadness. It's important for them to seek support from medical health professionals, counsellors or support groups to address these emotional challenges. Expressive therapies such as art therapy, music therapy or journaling can provide avenues for emotional expression and processing, offering individuals the opportunities to explore and work through their feelings. Furthermore, Cultivating a positive mindset and engaging in activities that bring joy and meaning to life can play a significant role in the healing process. This may involve practicing mindfulness and relaxation techniques to reduce stress and promote emotional well-being. Additionally, 
participating in activities that foster a sense of fulfillment and happiness, such as spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies or engaging in creative endeavours, can contribute to the individual's overall sense of well-being and resilience. From a Buddhist perspective, illness is seen as an opportunity for growth and transformation. The practice of mindfulness and meditation can help individuals facing illness find peace and meaning in their struggles. Additionally, the cultivation of compassion both for oneself and others can provide a source of strength and resilience during challenging times. Bouncing back from personal and business challenges In both personal and business life, challenges are inevitable. Whether it's a setback at work, a financial difficulty or a strained relationship, the ability to bounce back from adversity is a valuable skill. When faced with personal or professional challenges, it's important to approach the situation with a growth mindset, viewing setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. A growth mindset is the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. Individuals with a growth mindset embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, see effort as a path to mastery, and learn from criticism. They view failures as opportunities for growth and are inspired by the success of others. In the business world, Resilience is a key trait for success. Entrepreneurs and business leaders often face significant challenges such as economic downturns, fierce competition or unexpected setbacks. Bouncing back from these challenges requires adaptability, perseverance and a willingness to embrace change. Seeking support from mentors, networking with peers and continuously learning and evolving can all contribute to a resilient approach to business challenges. From a Buddhist perspective, the concept of impermanence can offer a valuable framework for navigating personal and business challenges. Recognising that all circumstances are subject to change can help individuals and business leaders approach challenges with greater flexibility and resilience. Additionally, the practice of mindfulness and awareness can help individuals maintain a sense of calm and clarity amongst uncertainty, allowing for more effective problem-solving and decision-making. Bouncing back from life's challenges is a skill that can be cultivated and developed. Whether it's dealing with loss, divorce, sickness, personal challenges or business setbacks, There are strategies and perspectives that can help individuals build resilience and find renewal. By embracing the principles of self-care, seeking support, fostering a positive mindset and drawing inspiration from ancient wisdom traditions such as Buddhism, individuals can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and grace. Ultimately, Bouncing back is about finding the inner strength to persevere, adapt and grow in the face of adversity. It's about recognising that setbacks are a natural part of the human experience and that they can serve as opportunities for self-discovery and transformation. With the right mindset and support systems in place, individuals can bounce back from even the most daunting challenges emerging stronger, wiser and more resilient than before. That's it for this episode. I hope you found it of some benefit. And don't forget to check out my website, yeshirabgay.com. So, until the next time, bye for now.